Johns Hopkins Magazine was founded a little over 60 years ago by Corbin Gwaltney. Um, Corbin Gwaltney was an alum. And what was very cool about what Corbin Gwaltney was doing was he wanted to break the mold of what university magazines were. And it became really the model that alumni magazines are based on now. An alumni magazine can, can run the risk of, of being a little too inward looking and being a little too um, parochial. And I think what Johns Hopkins University does that's so important is that engages the world outside of itself. The university is out solving world, the world's problems and, and participating in national and international dialogues about important issues. And so we really wanted this magazine to, to show the university doing that. This redesign is based on what we know our readers are interested in. Um, we decided to do a redesign. I think a magazine staff wants to breathe energy and life into the um, into the product that they're used to working on. You spend a lot of years working on a magazine, you sort of reset your you know, creative button by doing something like this. But we didn't want to do a redesign based on our own taste. We wanted to do a redesign based on what readers wanted, and so we did an extensive readership survey. And we went through a very long process. So Johns Hopkins Magazine is We started working with a designer named Abbott Miller, and we were just so lucky to have him. And we started talking about what we wanted it to be, what we wanted it to look like, what we did, what we did best, what we thought needed to be changed. We just talked about what the magazine is. And it was it was even just kind of the magazine's personality and, and its aspirations. He, he was just an amazing at interpreting what we were talking about and translating that into design. He just nailed it. The ambition was to make this a magazine that you would put on your bedside table and pick up just as you pick up the New Yorker or the Atlantic. It's sort of the same People don't segment and think, well, I, I feel like reading a really good university magazine now. You know, <laughs> they just want a good magazine. And I think that those are the benchmarks for the staff and to the writers. Um, and we really needed to create a contemporary expression of that. What I love about this magazine is that issue after issue, we get to write about the most interesting and fascinating stuff in the world. Johns Hopkins, there's no limits. Where the campus goes, where the faculty go, where the alumni go, the, the, the pool of potential stories is, is absolutely infinite.